Hello everyone, my name is Chris Wilson, as you can see from my iPad screen there. I, I am the eServices Librarian here at Culture NL. I'm going to do a quick video as and show you how to download BorrowBox onto your iPad. It is available also on Android and Kindle Fire as well. And we will do short videos on how to download it onto those devices as well in the near future. But for now we're going to focus on the iPad. So the first thing that you need to do is click on your App Store and you will then need to go to your search function on the iPad and type in BorrowBox in there. And click search. Once that uh, does the search, you will see that it displays the BorrowBox app. If you've not downloaded it before, it will say get rather than the cloud symbol that shows for me here. If you have downloaded it before, it will show the cloud symbol and you click on the cloud. If you have never downloaded it and you click on get, it probably will ask you to, add, to enter your Apple ID password. It's a free app, so it's just to kind of attach it to your account rather than charge you anything for downloading the app. And it is a small app, so it won't take long to download. Once it's downloaded, that should change to say open. So hopefully it should do that any second now. There we go. And you can click on open there to open the app, or you can click back to your main set of apps, and you will see uh, it'll be in the apps that you've got on your iPad now. You can click on the border box icon and it'll open up. And the first thing that it tells you to do is that it's is to sign in. There's three parts to sign in, and the first thing is to pick your library. So you need to enter in the first three letters of the library service that you are part of, which in our case is Culture and Libraries. So if you put in C U L and we'll see Culture and Libraries will appear in the list and then the next two options are for your ID barcode and your PIN and password. Now your ID or barcode is your library card number. If you have joined online this will probably start CNL. If you have joined in a library it's most likely going to start 030. I have created an account online to do the video here so I'll enter this in now and an important part to remember here is if you have joined online and you are signing in, the CNL part of it does need to be entered in capital letters. And then you have to enter in your password. The password is a password that we would have provided you with if you, when you ask for it. It's not one that you decide on yourself unless you have joined online and you do get to set your password. On, in, on that way. You can, if we have given you a password, you can go onto your online account and change the password to whatever you want. The next part that you come up to is your terms and conditions. So you can have a quick read through that and if you're happy with it, you click agree. Now if it's the first time you're using the app and you haven't signed up before, there will be an extra stage here. You will get asked to put in an email address which is required, and then there's optional sections for uh, to sign up to newsletters and to possibly put in a display name if you wish. But those parts are completely optional. However, the email address is required for the app to complete the registration. And then you're brought onto this here, which is the Borrow Box Tips. They run you through various parts of the app and just kind of explain a little bit how it works and some of the great features that it has. You can find the, the tips in the settings section of the app. So for now, we will click skip to get onto the actual app. Now, here we can see the main screen, which is the My Loan screen. And from here, you can see that I've actually got two items downloaded already on this account. I have got the Jump by John, Doug Johnston, uh, downloaded as an ebook, and Along Came a Spider by James Patterson, downloaded as a an e-book, did I say e-book the other one? I think I meant, I meant, I meant an e-audio book for the Doug Johnston one. From up here you can see that um, we can have a maximum of another five e-audio books and five e-books. So you can have six of each in total. And you can also download 
you can also make reservations, sorry, against any titles that are out at the moment on our service. If you do have any books downloaded, you can return them early by clicking on the return function, or if you need a bit extra time for it, you can click on renew as well. There is five tabs at the bottom, so there's my loans, e-audiobooks, e-books, search and settings. The my loans is the one that we're on at the moment. If you click on e-audiobooks, that takes you to our list of e-audiobooks, as you would expect. And it is broken down to various categories. You can see that it's got adults, young adults and children, and further broken down to featured categories, genres and all releases. There's also a wee kind of promotional bar at the top that kind of scrolls through various titles that are, that is getting highlighted there. And each section has kind of is broken down into kind of parts as well. We do have e audio books, sorry, e books by Macmillan Cancer Support on our service, and they are that is a, a, a UK first that we have got them available to our bar box service. They are not available to anyone else at this moment, so we're very proud of that. But on here, um, you can kind of click through these and it takes you into the each individual title or you can use the search function to find something more specific. The e the ebook tab is very much similar to the e audiobook tab but obviously on ebooks instead of e audiobooks. And the search function is where you can kind of narrow your search down if there's something specific you're looking for. For example, if you are a big James Patterson fan, you can search for James Patterson and it'll come up a list. The highlighted part here shows that this is the e audiobooks it's looking for at the moment. And I can switch that to ebooks and I'll show all the ebooks that are available. And on here you'll see that some of them say unknown available and then a date next to it. That means that they're currently out at the moment and the date is roughly when it'll be available again. And you can put reservations in against those titles. If you click on available up here, that will take out all the ones that are currently out at the moment and only display the ones that are currently available. And you can then see that it's, it, these are available for download at this very moment in time. So if we look for, for example, the Jack and Jill one, we click into that. And then it gives us the option to borrow. You click on borrow, click confirm, and the loan is successful. And we can click read now to start reading it very right now, or we can keep browsing. And we can also get a notification to let us know that your loan is about to expire, so you can decide whether you need to renew it or not. We can click yes on that. And as with normal with I, with iPads. You do need to give Boardbox permission to send your notification. So that's that book now downloaded. And if I come back out of there, go to My Loans, you'll see it's now there, sitting there as well. And to read it, you click on the title and it opens up. And there you go. And you can swipe through it and read the book as you would expect. And we can come back out to that, to go to my loans again. And we do exactly the same thing for e-audiobooks. We can come to the e-audiobook section here and click on, what will we go for? Let's see. Uh, let's go for Patrick Ness release. And again, simply click borrow at the bottom confirm and keep browsing and then that is that attached to your account Oops. and you click back on there go to my loans again and there you go it's sitting in there now with e audiobooks obviously the files could be quite big so there's options to only download over wi-fi to save data on your phone or on your ipad if you've got a data sim for your iPad. Um, or you can also you can download the complete e e audio book, or you can download individual tracks by clicking the three lines up here 
and clicking on each individual track and again this will, I will give you a warning about do you want future loans to be downloaded automatically when a Wi-Fi connection is available you can click yes or no to that I'm going to click no just now so it doesn't download the whole entire book but that is that title now that particular track downloading I can close it here come back to this part and if I click the play button it will start playing that first track and it's that simple if you've got the whole thing downloaded it will start to play, it will play the whole entire e audiobook for you the final tab is the search tab uh, the settings tab sorry and in here you will see your account details where you can change the display name if you want or you can sign up to the newsletters if you want you can log out and there's various options for instant borrowing uh, so you don't have to do that confirm step that we did or automatic downloads for on Wi-Fi the borrow box tips so you can go and have a wee look at that and you can also send some feedback and, and things like that but that's, that's pretty much it that's how easy it is to get up and running with borrow box on with culture and libraries and it's a great service we do have a good number of titles born of both ebooks and e audiobooks on here and we really hope that you download it and enjoy it if you found this useful please give the video a like if you've got any questions leave a comment and if you want to see more videos like this please do subscribe to the channel and watch out for them in the future but for now, bye guys, and I hope you've had fun and enjoyed this. Bye guys.